welcome back to our channel. This is Sudesh Nail Ranjit and you're watching Follow the Imprints. Today we are the tourists in our own city of Toronto and this video is all about places to visit when you are in Toronto. So let's get started. If you are flying to Toronto at the Pearson Airport and you are planning to come to the city, you have three options to go to the city. First, you can definitely rent a car which you can book online through different sites. Secondly, you can take an Uber. And thirdly, the very convenient option which we will recommend is to take the UP Express, which is the Union Pearson Express. From Pearson to Union, it will take you 25 minutes and cost you $12.35 per adult. And if you have a Presto card, you can tap and go and that will charge you $9.25. So follow this sign, train to city to catch the UP Express. Huh? Let's go. The energy in downtown is contagious with bustling sidewalks and skyscrapers towering above and a vibrant mix of people from all walks of life. High-end shopping experience in the Bloor Street to exploring the iconic CN Tower, downtown Toronto gives an unforgettable urban experience. Right now we are standing at the Great Hall of Toronto's Union Station which is the largest and busiest train station in Canada and this station is 96 years old and more than a quarter million of people uses this Union Station daily. So to go up to Casaloma, you have to take this Baldwin steps which has 110 stairs and this is 100 years old. After Union Station, our first stop for today is La Casa Loma which in Spanish means Hill House and this has been constructed in the year of 1940 and was a residence of a Canadian financier Sir Henry Pillar. Casa Loma is a Gothic revival castle style mansion and garden in Midtown Toronto and this has been used in many famous Hollywood movies and series for example in X-Men you might have seen this castle and also the Netflix famous Umbrella Academy has been shot here. Waiting happening here. You can book this Casa Loma for your wedding. The ticket cost to entry Casa Loma is 40 Canadian dollars per adult. But if you are a new immigrant to Canada as a permanent resident or you are a new citizen, now come to the interesting part. So if you have a canoe app, you can get that 365 days validity without any fee. Just install the canoe app which is there in the Canadian website and we will share the link in our description. And within that one year span, you can visit numerous tourist attractions, mostly museums and national parks across Canada for free. Gallery of Ontario known as AGO which has been founded in the year of 1900 and inside this museum there are more than 90,000 types of arts and it's one of the kind in entire North America. So in any country when we visit we always visit Chinatown and how can we not recommend Toronto's Chinatown? So this is one of Toronto's oldest and the most diverse neighborhood and was established in the year of 1878. So when in Chinatown, this is our go-to place every time. So if you are in Toronto, do try out their dumplings from Juicy Dumpling. It's worth it and it's very reasonable as well. Today's lunch, $22. Two types of dumplings and one wonton soup. Now 
now let's venture into one of Toronto's most electric neighborhoods, Kensington Market. If you are looking for a bohemian neighborhood with different kind of boutiques and art places, Kensington Market is your place. There are numerous restaurants and pop-up stores of vintage clothing and jewelries. It's a melting pot of cultures filled with unique shops, trendy cafes and street art. Quick 10 minutes walk from Chinatown and you are in Toronto's Graffiti Alley. It has become a symbol of Toronto's vibrant culture and this place serves as a platform for local and international artists to showcase their talents. Welcome to Little Canada. If you are coming to visit downtown Toronto and you find yourself near the Young and Dundas Square and especially if you have kids, do visit Little Canada and see the miniature version of this maple country. This one is specific to the East Coast and has all the major cities of the East Coast like Toronto, Ottawa, Quebec. Ticket cost is $32 per adult but if you have the canoe app, again it's free if you just scan the QR code here. So this is Petit CN Tower, all the miniature version of Little Canada. walking or taking the TTC, you can always hop on and hop off in the city sightseeing bus of Toronto. Right now we are at Young and Dundas Square which is the Canadian version of Times Square. So here there is a one acre of public space where always something is happening, either protests or fun activities or live music and it's a really happening place and we have our CF Eaton Centre right here which is one of the largest mall in Toronto. With the Presto card, you can take the VRL, Go Train, and the TTC and the Up Express as well from Union Station. You can go in the station and you can People who think Canada means freezing cold, but no, in July August it's scorching hot. It's very hot. Temperature rises up to 30 degrees. So if you are afraid of cold, come in summer. And if you are a history and art enthusiast, you will be captivated by the artifacts of Royal Ontario Museum, which is also known as Rob. With its impressive collection of arts, cultural artifacts and natural history exhibits, it's a treasure trove for discovery and knowledge. So currently inside Rome, there is a T-Rex exhibition going on about the ultimate predator and if you want to go inside for the T-Rex, the ticket price is $39 but if you want only the general admission tickets, that is $26 per adult. But we have already told you about the canoe app and with that the admission is free. Ontario Museum was founded in the year of 1912 and is one of the largest museums of North America and the largest in Canada. More than a million visitors visit this ROM in a year making ROM the most visited museum in Canada. In TTC or anywhere in the metro links, once you tap you have two hours of validity with that tap. You don't have to pay any more. Within these two hours you can travel as long as you want. So you can have a TTC subway, TTC buses and the streetcars as well within the two hours frame. 
The old city hall is a Roman style civic building and courthouse of Toronto, Ontario. And this is 124 years old. It was opened in the year of 1899. And since then, till 1966, it was the home for Toronto City Council. Right now, we are standing at Nethel Phillips Square, which is a vibrant plaza in the heart of downtown Toronto and where the famous Toronto sign is located. Every other day, some of the other events and activities always happen here and it attracts 1.8 million visitors every year. This is behind the scene. This is what happens. People come, take pictures, put garbage, go away. And also, July August is famous for Toronto events and festivals. This summer, the Taste of India Festival is back in Nathan Phillips Square. Right now, we are here. It's crowded and there are so many events going on across the city in this long weekend of August. Go, 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 go! This one. How do you like which one? Indian food festival. This is nice. Uh, I feel like home. You I feel like I'm back home. Yeah. I have here samosas. I get samosa. You watch me eat samosas. Yeah, same thing. How much expensive it is? Five bucks for uh, two samosas. I don't know. Yeah. This is CF Eaton Center. So this is a mall in Toronto. It's a downtown's largest one. Not sure though. Don't quote me on that. But here you get the best thing. Here you have Califodex which will give you a good exchange rate. Instead of doing that in airport, the currency exchange, you can do it here. The best way to get around in Toronto, in the local transit. So right now we are going to distillery district. We'll take the streetcar from King Street. So right now we are on the streetcar. In Kolkata, we say tram. It's all included in the TTC. Within two hours, we have the free transfer. So get ready to step back in time as we go towards distillery district. Today I guess there is some DJ happening here. Some of the other things happen always in summer because it feels like summer. Brewery and I ordered the original organic lamb which has been originated in Ontario. This is like more than 100 years old pub and we ordered the fish and chips and a buffalo wings. Where is food? So this is my fish and chips and it looks delicious with the haddock fish, lemon fries, two kinds of sausage, ranch and some salads and this is the crispy wings with barbecue and buffalo hot sauce. This is the bill for today. Total 70-40 plus tips. History only distillery district dated back to 19th century is a historic area where it was a house for Ontario's major breweries and distilleries that time. And right now it's a historic and charming area with cobblestone streets, Victorian architecture and art galleries. This area is lined up with hip and restaurants, bars and boutiques. In December, the annual Toronto Christmas Market takes over the street of the distillery district. Toronto's distillery district which is actually celebrating 20 years this year was founded in 2003 but the Guderham and Words which was founded in 1832 was the largest distillery in the entire world and was the largest taxpayer in Canada that time. So now we are taking 121 towards Old Toronto. Hey, what's up? Nothing. So this bus will take us to Flat Iron Building. Hollywood and in Bollywood as well most of the times they used to shoot Toronto and show us it's New York yeah it's cheating they do that it's cheap 
Our next stop is the Flat Iron Building, which is also known as the Gooderham Building, opened in 1892 and it's located right in the heart of Old Town Toronto, which has its own charms, currently full of colorful cafes and restaurants. And this has a Flat Iron pub inside, uh, which is a British pub. And the name, obviously, you can understand why it's called Flat Iron because of its clothes iron kind of structure. When you find yourself in downtown Toronto, definitely take a stroll in the Old Town area which is the home of the St. Lawrence Market and the Gooderham building. is a museum and hall of fame in Toronto and it is located in one of Bank of Montreal's old building which was constructed in 1885 and this is the home of Stanley Cup and the finest collection of hockey artifacts in the world. If you want to roam the city in two wheeler in a bike you can ride one of these tangerine ones seven dollars per day and every summer in Toronto you have this union summer festivals so you have all these food festivals from Different culture, Indian, Mexican. So downtown is connected with park. So most of the buildings in downtown is connected with park. So it's good if you want to avoid rain and snow, walk into the park and go to your destination. The park is largest underground mall in the world and it's more than 70 buildings connected with this and this connection is 30 kilometers. Our next stop is Toronto's entertainment district which has the iconic Scotiabank Arena, the Union Station, the Fairmont Royal York, Metro Convention Centre, CN Tower, Ripley's Aquarium, Rogers Centre, Roundhouse Park and we have the Toronto's Railway Museum right here and the Harbour Front here. Everything entertainment. Toronto is a sports loving city and if you are a sports person so catching a game is a must do experience for you. Either it's a baseball game at the Rogers Centre or a hockey or basketball showdown at the Scotiabank Arena. The atmosphere is electric. Join us as we immerse ourselves in the excitement of Toronto's entertainment district. Also where we live. we haven't forgot about the signature icon of Toronto skyline that's the CN Tower. The word CN refers to Canadian National Tower which is a communications and observation tower in Toronto. This CN Tower is the 10th tallest freestanding structure in the world and remains as the tallest freestanding structure on land in the entire western hemisphere. The ticket price to go up to the observation deck is $43 per adult but there is a restaurant as well which is a 360 degree revolving restaurant and if you go there the minimum spend is $75 per person but that time you don't need to pay for the ticket to go up. Rogers Centre is the home of Toronto's Blue Jays and this stadium features a retractable roof and also hosts concerts and during that time the capacity is 55,000 people and Taylor Swift is bringing her Eras Tour to Toronto in Canada and there will be six tours next year November in 2024 so if you are looking for it book it now. We have a detailed video of Toronto Islands. If you want to watch that, the link should be coming up anywhere there and also in the description. Apart from taking the water taxis or the ferry to go to the islands, you can also hop on to Toronto City Cruises or the pirate boats here and enjoy cruising in the Ontario Lake and have dinner as well. Have a ticket, go directly, wicket 9. So for going to Toronto Island, you can book the ticket online. And uh, it's recommended to book online because the queue here at the ticket counter is very long. And grab some pizza, grab some drink, go over there, 
enjoy, relax. Sentinel Island is the one which is mostly crowded. So we always look for Hanlan Square, not the Wards Island. But the island is pretty much walkable, so you can do a bike tour or walk around. There are millions and millions of people going in Central Island. So we tend to avoid that. We we'll go to Hanlan. This is too windy. This ferry ride only takes 15 minutes from downtown to the island. Very last stop for your trip to Toronto is the Toronto Islands. You should and must visit the Toronto Islands and yes, we do have islands. So in these islands we have three points. One is Hanlands Point, Centre Island and the Wards Island. Currently we are standing at the Hanlands Point and in every part of this island you can have gorgeous views of the Toronto skyline. Come to this island you have a couple of options. The first and the cheapest option is to book your tickets online on the torontoferry.com website and for one adult it's 9 10 return so that means you can come and go back as per your time just check the schedules before coming here the second option is to come via water taxis or ticket taxis which you can board from any part of the harbor front area and that will cost you 12 dollars per adult yes Point is a historically queer space because the first ever Toronto Pride Parade happened in the Hanlands Point in the year of 1971 and this is one of the point of entry for the clothing optional beach at Hanlands Point and this place is a safe space for everyone and is a place of respect, acceptance, diversity and dignity. So be respectful of everyone's privacy and enjoy the beach. Always put your trash in the trash can. Hold it. Hold it. Done. brings the end of our Toronto adventure today. I hope you guys have enjoyed it as much as we enjoy touristing through our neighborhoods. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and press the bell icon as well. And do subscribe to our channel and share this one with your friends and family and keep following us to hop on to our next adventure. Till then, follow them friends. And the cost will be $9. And it costs Casa Loma is a gothic revival. So much art, so much gallery. You can come, feel the art. So get ready to set back the Hall of Fame and the finest collection of haughty artifacts. Hot. <laughs> it feels like summer. Amara Bajabs, Amara Timis. Till then? No. Till I'll be back here, I'm gonna go.